Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We need to go back up to Canada for another update. It gets more surreal by the minute, more violence by the week. And uh, sadly, we can chalk up two more deaths to the ongoing war between the Hells Angels and the Sicilian Rizzuto mob, and then the various proxy wars that are going on um, within those layers of, of conflict. Um, uh, over the weekend, uh, there, there was an arson attack in old Montreal, and uh, an innocent woman and her young child uh, perished in the fire. I didn't want to gloss over that. That's, you know, the most, you know, in terms of, you know, humanitarian aspects of this, that's really the most important that uh, there were two collateral damage casualties and what looks to be, according to the Montreal uh, French Canadian press, there is a um, fire bombing campaign or dueling firebombing campaigns uh, between three different street factions, one representing Hells Angels, which is uh, Jean-Philippe Celestine and his group, um, the other representing the Rizzutos, we'll get to that in a second, and a third called the Arab Power Crew, which uh, have links to both the Rizzutos and the Hells Angels and are kind of playing... Um, the wait and see game to see who wins this before they officially attach their uh, hitch their trailer to one of those two. So um, there have been you know, close to 10 fire bombing ex assaults in apparent extortion attempts aimed at businesses, restaurants, pizzerias, coffee shops uh, around Montreal since July. And the, the two people that died were um, innocent victims in the most recent attack back on Friday. If it wasn't for those two tragic deaths, you know, the lead, the lead part of this story would be there's been another allegiance shift or alliance shift in this, you know, ever evolving biblical conflict. Um, and it appears based on my sources on the street and in uh, in the SQ and RCMP, that the, the so-called rap pack mob led by Anna Atna, a.k.a. Tupac, has now aligned officially with the Rizzuto mob and is repping the Rizzuto mob street gang operations in Montreal when the Blood Family Mafia guys uh, rep those interests in other parts of Quebec. Uh, this is, again, this is very surreal that a year ago, it appeared that Atna was firmly in the Hells Angels camp. According to our sources, he was given him and the uh, his rap pack mob were given the contract on Greg Woolley, carried out that contract in November of 2023. Allegedly, they're being looked at as top suspects. Um, and then at some point in December, the Hells Angels, Marty Robert, and uh, some of the other uh, major Hells Angels shot callers uh, in Canada anointed Atna as kind of the new street gang godfather at a ceremony of some sort that lasted like two months max before Jean-Philippe Celestine, who had been Wooly's right hand, top lieutenant, main enforcer, jumped ship to the Hells Angels after they killed his brother. He is now with the Marauders, which is a, a Hells Angels support club, and uh, is, according to reports out of uh, the Journal de Montreal and La Presse, uh, he is at the forefront of this firebombing war. 
uh, for extorting restaurants in Montreal with the Marauders. Uh, according to our reporting, the, uh, the president of the Marauders is uh, Diamond Dave Costelli, a longtime Hells Angel affiliate. Um, then the Marauders right now, for lack of a better analogy, they're like the, the new era rockers from back in the, the Great Quebec Biker War, uh, which, you know, essentially a, 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 a biker club, support club that is just muscle, their enforcement. Um, they go around and do a lot of dirty work. So it, it looks like Atna and Celestine have, have uh, once again changed sides. Um, or I should say, sorry, that was Chunky, my bulldog, who's getting into things. Uh, I should say that Atna is now Team Rizzuto. Celestine went from Team Rizzuto to Team he uh, Hells Angels. Um, a couple other housekeeping notes on the war up there. Uh, after the uh, arson attack last Friday that cost two innocent lives, uh, politicians in Quebec have already said that they're going to be starting a series of um, governmental hearings investigating the uh, these fire bombing attacks over the last six months, investigating the Celestine, the Hells Angels, Atna and the Rizzutos, the Arab Power crew and whatnot. Um, that was just announced on Monday. That's how serious this is getting uh, from a political perspective. Um, when we saw this in the Great Quebec Biker War, uh, when innocent little boys are being blown up in car bombs, that's when you know the government you know, stands, stands at attention. So um, we, we know about the hearings now that were announced this week. And then we also heard about the seizing of property uh, in Eastern Quebec and Frampton of uh, possible evidence related to the murder of that 14 year old boy who was found burnt to a crisp a couple of weeks ago, uh, there were two Hells Angel support clubs, the Red Devils and um, uh, uh, another group that I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting right now. But uh, they think that the murder took place in the Red Devils clubhouse and that this 14 year old was sent to set on fire, shoot up. He had an AK-47 with him, was caught. Uh, and murdered um, as uh, retribution, as a message to the Rizzutos and the Blood Family Mafia. Our reporting here at, at OG Pod, as well as Gang's report, is that Blood Family Mafia boss Ice Pick Termel, who has been on the run uh, throughout Europe and North Africa the last 18 months, has allegedly a half million dollar contract on his head from the Hells Angels. He was he's texting in. Uh, you know, kind of acting as a command center via text, uh, and that he was actually texting in in the planning before this 14-year-old went out and, and tried to um, vandalize a, uh, a Hells Angels support club headquarters and then was caught and murdered. Um, while this was all happening... Dirty News, shout out to Dirty News, uh, the, the great true crime blog out of Canada. They reported that uh, Sky Langlois, one of the founding fathers of the Hells Angels in Montreal, things have gotten so dire that uh, after the Frampton situation, Sky, who was like the, you know, the godfather of the South Shore Hells Angels, um, in Montreal, got on a plane, you know, they call him Sky because he's a, uh, a pilot, uh, and flew to hold a meeting with a number of chapters um, at a, a, a support club uh, called, um, I think it's called the Tribe, and uh, a bunch of Hells Angels chapters convened with, with Sky Lingua flying in with an entourage of bodyguards and, and lieutenants to address 
the uh, the seriousness of what's going on right now. Um, finish up with some Marty Robert news. So also, there's been a lot of news coming out of uh, just from the government side of things, releasing stuff to the press. Uh, in the last couple of days, it's come out that um, there is a current narcotics investigation that started by the started by the SQ um, before Chit Del Basso's murder in June of 2023. Uh, we all know that that Del Basso was a defection or defected from the Rizzutos. He was kind of kicked out of the Rizzutos, aligned with Marty Robert and the Hells Angels. Um, that's what sparked this war. And according to the government, it's called Operation Ravager. And Marty and his right-hand man, alleged right-hand man or known right-hand man, Fess, uh, Ploof, are still top suspects in this narcotics trafficking um conspiracy, alleged conspiracy that the government says were was being run through fruit markets that Chit Del Basso had connections to. And Chit Del Basso, uh, 20 years ago or so, when he was working for Old Man Buda Rizzuto, uh, was running drugs through through fruit markets and produce, um, produce companies. So again, a lot of news to report, some of it very tragic. But, uh, you know, I guess the two big takeaways here are Mar three big takeaways. Marty is... Uh, you know, right in the center of the crosshairs right now for RCMP and this Operation Ravager. Um, sadly, uh, two deaths in, in this ongoing war, innocent bystanders that were uh, killed in an arson fire uh, a couple days ago, which I think brings the casualty list up to seven or eight. And then uh, big headline, the Rat Pack mob led by Tupac Atna is now with the Rizzutos after allegedly killing the Rizzutos main street boss, Godfather, uh, taking his place, leaving their alliance or leaving his alliance with the Hells Angels and aligning with the Rizzutos. That's Tupac Atna. So a lot to keep track. Enemies, allies, it's all getting clouded. Your enemy's enemy is your friend. That axiom is being proven time and time and again. Please. Um, Hit the Patreon if you can. We got some more Hells Angels news on the Patreon this week that we're going to be rolling out very exclusive that you're only going to get on the Patreon members only. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep breaking down on uncovering the underworld in North America day by day. And uh, I think it's safe to say you're not going to get more, you know, in terms of breaking news, in terms of context, in terms of analysis, in terms of nitty gritty facts. You're not going to get more on what's going on in Montreal and the war in Quebec uh, between the Hells Angels and the Rizzutos and the Blood Family Mafia and the, the, the Rat Pack Mob and the Marauders. You're not going to get more than you're going to get here at, uh, at OG. So please like, subscribe, share. I'm Scott Bernstein. I'm out.